Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Tweety back again. And uh, today we're going to be going over a set from yesterday's North America Online Qualifier number two, or uh, North America West. And North America West number one was won by Sonic Fox. I believe Rewind got second, King Gamer got third. Now, these are very important because there's not a lot of ways for players to get points this season. You either got to go to one of the four offline premier events, or you got to play in one of your three uh, regional qualifiers. Now, they're called regional qualifiers, but it's not like, oh, you win one and you're good. You know what I mean? Like, you just get points. And then there's a regional finale, which is like a whole different thing, kind of, um, at the end of it. But basically, like, these three are the opportunity for these players to get points. So you even see players like Sonic Fox, Rewind, Ninja Kill entering uh, combat. And uh, Ninja Kill and combat were in the east. Now, in the west, we have um, we have players like Rewind, King Gambler, Sonic, uh, Hourglass, Han Rashid making top eight. And it worked down to the top three here. And um, we had Sonic and losers pretty early because Hourglass actually sent Sonic to losers uh, in pools 3-2. Uh, and it ended up being Gambler and Hourglass in winner's finals. And uh, Gambler ended up taking that 3-2. And uh, Gambler also took a 3-2 over Rewind. Sonic eliminated Rewind. So here we are in the top three with Gambler, Sonic, and Hourglass. So it is a run back in losers. This is a set that I wanted to go over, especially because um, I didn't even, like I was watching the live rooting on Gambler and stuff and rooting on the other players too. I like these other players as well. Um, but I didn't get to watch it much. I was taking like a little, uh, I forget, I had to do something. I don't know. I think I went to the store or something during the set. So this is going to be the first time I watch it as well. I know who won and stuff because I watch Grand Finals and all that. But yeah, we're going to check this out. So this is a run back. One thing that is interesting to note in this tournament is Peacemaker is banned because he's so new. Um, and DLC is banned from Pro Comp for like the first like three weeks, something like that. And Sonic has been talking about maining Peacemaker. So um, like all the props in the world to Hourglass for like sending Sonic to losers and all that. But I wonder, and I don't say this to discredit like the win, but because so obviously Sonic's put like countless hours into Sindel at this point. For those who don't know, Sindel has been Sonic's main since um, the Cyrax nerfs. So that's been a while now. That's been most of the game's life. Um, so no discredit there, but I wonder how it would go if Sonic played uh, Peacemaker, who Sonic is talking about being uh, the new main. So that'll be interesting to see as well, maybe at like Combo Breaker, or maybe in the online NA West number three. But anyways, let's check out this uh, this run back here, losers finals. Let's go. For Fox to have Check it out. We got that Sindel lab. versus that Molina. I assume they're both going with Kung Lao cameo. Well, it's the exact same character. I assume. Seems like the strongest pick for both these characters right now. Maybe you could argue Chameleon. Ooh, ball roll just a star reading that low hat. Wow. Nice block on the mix there from Sonic. Now, one thing about Molina at high level is uh, her 1-2, you can floss block the uh, the third hit, and it becomes super punishable, and people in the comments will be like, oh, why don't players like Sonic and Rewind and Gambler floss block that more? Well, the problem is that these Molina players, especially when they have a safe cameo uh, move, they're very good at mixing in other options. They'll do stay on one side. They'll do uh, stay on one low hat. They'll do 1-2 low hat. They'll do, like, 1-2 in the low side. Stuff like that. Like, they mix up the options so good. See, like, right there? So... And it takes so much, like, it's so much, like, mental stack to flawless block that third hit of 1-2. So, like, even for a player like Sonic, like, Sonic, if Sonic's just sitting there and is like, okay, I'm going to flawless block 1-2, stand one low side is going to be free all day. Stand one uh, low hat's going to be free all day. Sweep's going to be free all day. You know what I'm saying? And Hourglass is so good at mixing up all those options. Nice job there by Sonic. So, Molina's down one is minus 10. And you saw Sonic there blocked it. And... Sindel, she doesn't necessarily have a punish on minus 10 from that range, right? Like a Johnny Cage or something like that. Maybe she could poke back. But Sonic recognized that a player like Hourglass is not going to do, like, minus 10 into something else. So Sonic just goes ahead and does dash up grab. That's, you know, the deep kind of mind games that you need to uh, have a chance against a player like Hourglass. Nice counter poke in here from both. Pressure from Sonic. Ooh, the raw overhead. And nice, nice chip out there. No last breath for Hourglass there since it is the first round. And you know Sonic just did the raw overhead flip from Sindel there? It's actually not a bad option because most characters in this game, they have pretty quick lows, whether it be like their pokes or if they have a low starter. 
So if you have a quick little overhead, even if it's like unsafe and not comboing, it's going to be a decent little option in situations like that. And you see Hourglass get a lot of mileage as well with like Molina's forward four. Um, even though it's not comboing and it's like 18 frames, something like that. Since Molina's always doing like sweep, down poke, stuff like that, people normally, until they see her jab to react to one, two, they'll, um, they'll sit there blocking low. So four, four just hits like you see right there. Ooh, nice whip punish from Sonic though with the forward one. And that's a clean game right there. Holy crap. Dang, look at this combo. Brutality? Oh my God. 25 hits into the brutal. That's crazy. That's a statement. Like, the spacing from Sonic in that in that round was crazy. I don't think there's any like actual sincere uh, negativity surrounding rivalries. Opponent no combo, wouldn't it? There was a loud vehicle outside. Sorry if y'all heard that. I'm happy to see. I really like the Molina skin from Hourglass. I actually went to Hourglass's stream and I was like, "How do you unlock uh, that skin?" Here we go. And he just like went in depth explaining how you get it in invasions, and I had no idea what he was talking about. Like I, like I'm, I don't know shit about invasions. Like he might as well have been speaking a different language. He was like, "Oh, you got to go this far and go in this portal." I was just like, "Yeah, I'm not getting that skin. <laughs> I'm not getting that. There's no way." Nice. So you see, their hourglass does sweep into one two. Molina's sweep is actually plus. I think it's like plus one or two. And then jab her jab her one two string. The starter is actually uh, like seven frames, right? So. Sweep into one two is really good mind game. Nice job. Hourglass did a nice job catching Sonic there with forward two, but didn't uh, convert. Oh, nice whip punish on forward one with ball roll. Holy crap. That offense is so good. Putting the low hat down. And then Molina's got some little quick overheads with her like jab string with their forward four. At least quick by MK1 standards. And um, yeah, it's just really good mix ups there. Really melted Sonic in that round. And again, using the low hat to mix. And Sonic not breaking. Now, here's one thing really important to note. So you see Hourglass gets the setup, right? Lands a combo. What was what did Hourglass land to open Sonic up? Wasn't it like a whip punish on a forward one with ball roll? Okay. No, it was actually like a random EX teleport. Okay. Okay, and then set up low hat, right? And then did a jump in. Sonic got hit. Sonic expected overhead first. But Hourglass just empty jumps to the low came first. Very tricky. And you see Hourglass converts into a combo. And you see, when Hourglass gets here, Lau is not fully back. Before the nerf, Lau was full at the, almost full at this point. So Hourglass could get another full setup. But now since that Lau nerf, when you hold the hat, it doubles the cooldown of low hat. So now Hourglass could throw the hat down, but whenever you throw the hat down and hold it, it stays held until the bar is gone. So now, if Hourglass throws on the hat, holds it, it's not going to stay there long enough for Hourglass to get a mix-up. So that's... You're seeing the nerf in play right there. Hourglass gets a big hit to start the round, gets a nice setup, but it doesn't loop again. It doesn't loop again. But it's still amazing, right? Like, Hourglass did um, almost... almost 70% of Sonic's life. It might... It actually ended up being exactly 70% of Sonic's life uh, off of one loop of that setup. But as you see, it doesn't... Since the nerf to Kung Lao Cameo, it doesn't loop again. Pre-patch, these Molina Lao players, they would loop that setup until you're dead. Or until you get... You either guess right or you're dead. Um, but now uh, you just lose 70% if you guess wrong. Our glass of brain's biggest rounds came from just those bold plays. Still really good, obviously. That air ball roll. Molinas have been getting so much mileage with that air ball roll these days. Before I took like my break, uh, from like Christmas to like uh, like February, I like before then I never really saw Molinas using that that much. But now they get so much mileage off of that. Nice the sweeps. Hourglass like makes such good use of those sweeps, and there are plus some blocks so. And with Molina, like, you kind of have to, um, you kind of have to use, like, her down four, her back, her back four, which is her sweep, her, like, just back dash and stuff, because her down one is really minus, so you don't want to always just be throwing her down one out, like, all the time as your main poke. 
like you might see some from from some other characters like you take a character like sub-zero or like Liu kang or like um someone like that like they're mostly going to use their main poke as like down one right but with melina even though her down one's pretty long oh my god what a start from hourglass even though her down one's pretty long and stuff like you can't just really be using it as like your main poke Ooh, nice Chase Sonic down the low hat, threw out forward two and confirmed it and got the breaker out of there. Nice spacing by Sonic though. With punishing the forward two at forward one. Also, the use of Molina's forward two has gone up a lot as well over the months. Nice combo from Sonic. No setup though. And you see there too. So I really want to break this down. So Sonic got a whip punch with forward one. Stared at the face of danger. And you see Sonic sets up low hat here off of forward four, was it? Yeah, forward four, which is a very dirty setup with, with Sindel. It's one of the best setups in the game. And, and you see Sonic goes in, jump two. Hourglass thought that low hat was coming first, so guess wrong. Sonic floats, boom, boom, full combo. But what you notice is, or what you'll notice is pre-patch, by the time Sonic's done with this combo, low hat is back fully for another loop of that. So you're seeing the nerf play out from both sides here since they both are uh, set up heavy uh, Kung Lao cameo players. Um, you saw it with Hourglass last game. You're seeing it with Sonic this game. Sonic, before this patch, with this combo and this setup, you could loop it like indefinitely until they're dead or until they guess right. But now you can only get one loop of it. But again, how much of that is, how much is that doing, right? It's doing about 68% of Hourglass's life. So even though Sonic doesn't get to loop it again, it's still very strong. With mix -ups with Sonic Fox. I'd watch that. that one to projectile. That was interesting. Now you see there, right. Sonic finally got flawless block on Molina's 1-2. Ooh, it's going to be all, all for nothing, though. Hourglass gets a random ball roll and do a fatal blow. That was a random ball roll, right? Let me go back. Because I was so focused on what Sonic did there. Yeah, random ball roll. Beat out loud. Now, Hourglass is doing a lot of, like, uh, kind of, like, YOLO stuff to beat out Sonic, to, like, call out Sonic calling low hat. Because people are normally so comfortable calling out low hat. Because, number one, it recovers so quick. Number two, you can hold it to cover, like, you getting hit. And number three, Lau is actually, he comes out. So, Lau can, like, cover a hit for you. But Hourglass is aware, like, if I ball roll or if I EX teleport... As the low hat's coming out, it's it's gonna hit him for a full combo, and that's really uh doing work right now against Sonic. But Sonic's pressuring right now. Back throw from Hourglass, okay. Because of the high damage of Molina and the setup potential of Molina, that was a nice air to air conversion there. Red that Sonic was gonna try to jump low hat. Look at that, 36%, so good. Because of the damage and setup potential of Melina, it makes her like throw game so good, right? Because people don't want to get hit. And that was a clean round from Hourglass. Holy crap. How, is, how did uh, Hourglass get the opening there? So got the knockdown, safe jump. Tech on the throw. Oh, it just dashed in and one toot on Sonic trying to set low hat. So Sonic has been hit like probably like a good four times in this set so far by just trying to set up low hat. And that's like, that's huge. Four hits against Molina is like, like that's like a lot of life gone, you know, especially with the setup potential. Yeah, that's been Sonic's biggest problem so far is like just dashing back, trying to low hat and like Hourglass just being there with a jab string, being there with the ball roll, being there with the EX teleport, just really reading that Sonic's going to do that. Now, ever since the Cyrax nerfs, they really, like, changed rain. This is the character I've seen Sonic use the most besides Sindel. So this is going to be interesting. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So what's interesting about this is... So Sonic went Natara Kung Lao. Sonic said that um, that was an accident. It was supposed to be Chameleon, which I believe 100%. Because if you watch Sonic stream or like stuff like that, you'll see Sonic has only been playing Natara with uh, Chameleon. And even pre-patch, it was Natara Serena. So, And Sonic said they never played Natara Kung Lao before and picked it by accident. So, yeah, this is going to be interesting. With Natara, except for Chameleon. 
Ooh, the hard read. Doing the hourglass what hourglass has been doing the whole set, making a hard read on that low hat. That air bar roll seems so good. Ooh, nice. See, that's a big reason like people are not afraid to throw a low hat, like just willy nilly like that. Because look, like hourglass throws out low hat. Sonic like reads projectile perfectly with a jump, like. That's how you read projectiles normally. You jump right above them. But that's not how it works with low hat because Kung Lao, because um, it recovers so quick. And even if it doesn't recover, even if you hit him before it recovers, Kung Lao might eat the jump in for you and you get a punish anyways. And then they fall on low hat like Sonic did here and you get a full conversion. Like that's, that's why Sonic and Hourglass are just so confident to throw out low hat. But that's why it's such a difference maker when someone like Hourglass is able to punish on a read uh, low hats and shit like that. Like, that's why Hourglass is up right now in the set 2-1. And you see again there, Sonic jumped over low hat and was scared of the same situation, so just dash back. Okay, nice dive kick. No meter to EX, though, to get a combo. Nice blocks. Now, when Sonic does that right there... So watch this. Sonic's going to do the low with Natara. And you notice Sonic does that air dash out into nothing. So Natara, if you do the low into that and you see it lands, you have enough time from the recovery of that air dash to dive kick and convert off of the low. So low into up dash dive kick to get a full combo off of the low hit confirmable. And then if it's blocked, there's mind games of like, are you just going to do nothing? Are you going to dash away? Are you going to dive kick? Stuff like that. That's actually some tech that Deoxys found um, early earlier in the game. And yeah, it seems to be like the tried and true way to uh, convert Natara's low without um, without cameo into a full combo. And it's interesting because uh, Sonic normally doesn't play like that. Sonic normally has Chameleon cameo where you can do uh, sweep in the Glaive, where you can do sweep in the Molina. Stuff like that. So it's in, it's cool that, like, Sonic is so good that, like, they can adapt to, like, a play style they've never done with a character, like, on the fly. Found so many small opportunities that are just adding up bit by bit. And again, just holding that ball roll, that's so... Seems so hard to deal with. That should be the kill right there. Got the opening there with the jab into Fatal. Yeah, that's the round for sure. Now, I think NRS removed... So there was a rule where it was like, you could switch cameos off a of win. And I think they removed that, like mid-pro comp. So Sonic can't switch to Chameleon off a of win here. Nice convert, though, into the low hat pressure. Ooh, using... That, that must... Yeah, I think Sonic meant to do sweep into low hat. But uh, got an input error there and got teleported. That's really unfortunate. Because it's leading to a huge combo here from Hourglass. Nice poke from Sonic to get out. And there you see. Well, it's not meterless. Never mind. I was wrong. You have to do EX dive kick. Never mind. I misspoke. But yeah, you see the way Sonic converted there. That was exactly what I was talking about. Except I said you could do it meterless. No, you can't. You have to use bar. 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Scooby-Doo. Game five here. Yeah, so Sonic can't switch to Chameleon off a of win. They actually, they changed that rule like a month ago for some reason. Ooh, nice like instant air dive kick to get movement. Nice mix up. Ooh. Sonic kind of got shimmy there by that. See, yeah, Lao didn't come back quick enough, and Hourglass couldn't really get the setup. Ended up paying for it. Ooh, tricky. Ooh, nice. Hourglass blew up, like, the low shenanigans there, but dropped the combo. And Hourglass's drop ended up being Sonic's combo there. Really unfortunate. Ooh, and you see there, the low hit confirmed into the dash-up dive kick. That's the sauce right there. Dang, Sonic in full control right now with the accidental pick. 
match point. Oh, nice. Oh, the floss block from Sonic there, but the low side a little too quick and lowers Molina's hurt box. So Sonic couldn't really get the punish there. There's just... Like, yeah, you can floss block that and punish, but there's a lot of little mind games. There's a lot of little mind games. Oh, nice. Lands the low, doesn't confirm, but gets a grab off of it. Sonic is cooking right now. Ooh. It's funny, like, Sonic landed a couple throws, and you would think, like, oh, Sonic's really in control, but it really didn't give that big of a life lead since Natara starts with 100 less. Ooh, you see there, Hourglass blows up that in the same way, but that time picked it up. Ooh, the punish. Was that a punish? Or did Hourglass not block? Wait, hold on. I need to see that again. Okay, the breaker. Is this a punish? Is this a punish, really? Okay, I need to lab that EX ball in the air. I don't know enough about it. Sweep, okay. Stay safe. Both of them staying super safe right here. Oh my god. The EX air ball into the size. So good. Hourglass getting so much mileage off of that move. Seems like that move is almost like the panic button in like clutch situations. Especially when they have bar to spin. Life lead here from Hourglass. Ooh, no pickup off of that though. Well, I think only the last hit landed after the first. So I don't think a pickup was possible actually. Oh my god, the air to air. Not able to pick it up though. Weird conversion there. But this is a good life lead right here from Hourglass though. Ooh, almost gets the up block. The up block active frames ran out just in time. Ooh, the whip punish. Oh my god. Really made Sonic whip bad there. Take a trade. That trade is not favor Sonic Fox at the moment. You do not want to take a trade when you're this low. Oh, nice spacing there with down one. Ooh, Sonic missed the flawless block. That flawless block is so hard. And then the meaty mid. Dang. And Hourglass going to take Sonic out twice. Uh, I'm going to pause it there. Don't want to risk the brutal. Um, having YouTube shadow realming the uh, <laughs> shadow realming this video. But yeah, Hourglass takes out Sonic there again. Let me know if y'all want me to go over other sets from this event. If y'all want to check out the event yourself, just go to NetherRealm's Twitch. It is the last VOD on there. But yeah, Hourglass of Rain, just um, taking it down, like looking amazing. Hourglass has been doing a lot of damage um, online on this game since it came out. But obviously a lot of people, they don't really uh, recognize online. They only recognize like offline events and stuff. Um, unless like Sonic enters, you know. Now that Sonic enters, there's a bit of a spotlight on Hourglass since uh, Hourglass was able to get that win twice over Sonic. And um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see them meet again in NA West number three, possibly with Sonic's Peacemaker, possibly with Natara Chameleon, and at Combo Breaker too, because I think Hourglass said that he will be going to um that he will be going to Combo Breaker. So that's gonna be interesting to see as well. Shout outs to uh Sonic, Rewind, Hourglass Gambler, Han Rashid, and I think Dexy Dog had a big uh deep run in this as well. Shout out to all of them for doing really well in this tournament. Can't wait to watch the next one. And let me know if y'all would like to see me go over more sets from these tournaments. Um, there's actually a lot to cover because I didn't rec I didn't cover the first qualifier that Sonic won um, for the West or East. Didn't cover. Uh, this is the only set I've covered from the second one from the West or East. So let me know if y'all want me to cover more. And uh, much love to everyone later.